The cash-strapped Adelaide Zoo will cut jobs as it moves to restore its financial health. The ABC has obtained a copy of the zoo's business plan, which includes fewer staff, selling land and a review of Warrawong Sanctuary. With a new CEO soon to start, the zoo is also keen to make a fresh start on its finances. The ABC has obtained a copy of the zoo's five-year business plan. It includes staff cuts with full-time equivalents to be reduced from 202 to 184 this year. The move is expected to save a million dollars, with further cuts in the future tipped to save another 125,000. We're certainly not planning any wholesale redundancies or retrenchments. It's more about a carefully planned and sort of balanced approach to reductions in full-time equivalents. A working group will be set up to identify inefficiencies, reduce utility costs and explore investment opportunities. Land will be sold at Monato to pay off debt. The Warrawong Sanctuary will undergo a critical review and the zoo's conservation programs will be scrutinised with the axing of those found not to be core. Animal numbers will be assessed to ensure the zoo does not hold redundant or unjustified stock. It's not about flagging a reduction, it's about a strategic review to ensure that we have a collection that's relevant for the next five to ten years. The zoo received a rescue package last year after struggling with day-to-day -day expenses and repayments on its $25 million bank debt. The lifeline included an easing of its loan by Westpac to $7.5 million and an increase in its annual government grant. The Treasurer says the zoo will have to provide monthly financial reports but a government observer will not be appointed to the board. The government reserves the right that in some time in the future should we decide that there is some value from having an observer on the board then we have the power to do that. The business plan considers entry fees but says due to current economic conditions there is limited opportunity to increase the prices of any zoo products. Angelique Johnson, ABC News, Adelaide.